same picture. You can see another student holding a doll. Now, the student will show her doll and can speak these sentences. This is my doll. I call it Dolly. It has big eyes, etc. So, with this activity, we come to an end of this activity. Students, do you have a phobia or fear to speak in front of others? It means lack of confidence. Then, this booster activity is for you. We call it mirror activity. In this, one of the oldest practices, the student or the learner speak in front of a mirror. And it is really fantastic. Along with overcoming phobia and building confidence of the learner, it also improves his or her body language. So, I'm sure you are all going to practice this mirror activity. Now, comes an amazing and fun activity. Here, the learner learns to speak in a play way. In this activity, one volunteer student stands in front of the class. The rest of the class fire questions at him or her. The aim is to elicit answers in yes or no. But the volunteer will try to answer the questions without using the words yes or no. If he or she answers in yes or no, then he or she will lose the game. Sounds interesting? Yeah? Now, we will have fun by doing this activity. Let us say our volunteer is a boy and rest of the students are going to fire questions. So that that volunteer will answer yes or no. But the volunteer will try hard not to use these words. Let us begin the fun. Are you a girl? I am a boy. Do you have a pen? I have a pencil. Do you like speaking in English? I like speaking in English. Are you in a school? Yes, I am. Oh, you lose the game. This is how we can learn to speak by a play way method. Dear students, we should proceed to next activity. This activity is to surround yourself with the English language as much as possible. Improved listening apparently means improved speaking. The main idea is to listen more to speak more and perfectly. When you listen, you become 
familiar with the rhythms and intonations of English language. The more you become familiar, there starts the process of conscious and unconscious imitation. And this will definitely lead you to become a good speaker. How can we get surrounded with English language? The sources of English around us are mainly television. In television, we should watch English programs such as listening English news, listening to the English cricket commentary, watching English cartoons. Everyone likes to watch cartoon. But if we switch on to the medium English, then it is a boon. Yes, and the last but not the least and very important one is listening to English songs. The other and the second important source is the people. Your teacher is your best source and in addition you can find a companion to speak English with and the one more important source is a book. Read books to improve vocabulary and expressions. So, if such will be the atmosphere, definitely we will inculcate the skill of speaking in a better way. Recording and listening. This is a continuous and interrelated process. You speak, then you listen to yourself. It leads to thinking and evaluating yourself. Then you make changes or corrections or improvement in your speech. Then you again speak and the whole process keeps on going until you reach perfection. Recording is thus a very important and great way to improve speaking skill. By this activity, it is easy for a learner to review the content, take notes on new vocabulary and make changes to prepare the speech. So dear students, that's all in today's session. Hope you will follow and practice these activities. Thus, you will improve your speaking skills and change your world. May all of your dreams come true. Thanks a bunch and this is Rachna Gulati saying goodbye to all of you till we meet again. Goodbye.